Good Red corner fighting out of BKK fighters. Yusuf Saeed. <laughs> Rich Mitchell, our referee, and the cage door closes on this amateur middleweight competition. Arnie Goodison representing Honefoss MMA in the black compression shorts in the blue corner, facing BKK's Yusuf Saeed, and they start quick, Nick. Came out to the center of the cage and started trading rights. Yusuf Saeed, the hometown fighter, lots of support here. as the pace starts to settle just a little. I mean, one of the biggest things is you, you throw those first couple punches and then it's a matter of getting comfortable at your range. Uh, Goodnerson at the moment, the more successful at, at finding that range. And he's controlling the center of the cage. So Saeed's having to circle out as he's getting backed up. Low kick checked and then a body kick thrown by Saeed, and he, oh, oh. That, that, that just shot up. A turnover, it's just the tip of the toes of the flat of the foot, so it's not like damaging, it's more just annoying. Oh, it looks like every time he gets tagged, it looks like Yusef Saeed wants to engage in a bit of a firefight. Biggest issue behind it though is if you look, he's giving up one, three to take one. So he's really got to move forward as he's throwing those punches and throw them in combinations. Caught that high kick, tried to respond, but Arnie Goodison quickly pulls the leg back. And Goodison's working that jab, and he's trying to set everything up off of the jab. Yeah, right, right now, it, you, you, you said it, I'm gonna reset it. It's, it's Gunnarsson that's controlling the cage, controlling the pace, and landing the more telling shots, a little low blow there, nothing intentional. Yusuf now taking a, taking a bit of time. Again, there was no intent there, just, just bad luck. And it happens, uh, you're throwing those inside leg kicks and as people are moving around, sometimes one slides right up inside. Well, Saeed, not, not gonna, oh, not gonna take too much, but he ate that straight left. Well, Gunnison's gone with that, most of this round is throwing that straight left off of a double jab. Oh. Yeah, every, all the entire pace is being set by the man from home for San Jose. And Yusuf doesn't see that kick coming. No, I mean, that one was partially blocked because he was smart enough to at least have his hand up on that one. 
Yusuf engaging in a little bit more there. Only a few seconds left. Ooh. All right, we're doing it in combinations, not single ones at the time. And to be honest, let's take it to the ground and work a little ground and pound. It'll A, give him a chance for a bit of a breather if he needs it, and B, it will allow for him to cause some serious damage if he hits hard. So let's rework the strategy going into it. Yeah, the first, first round was, the whole tone of it was set by this fight, to set the tone for this round. Now, it, it's one of the odd things that you, you sometimes do see, especially from some of the strikers. They have their mouth wide open. <laughs> and Gunnison's mouth is wide open, but he's breathing nice and clean oh, as he throws a combination left, left high kick left. It, it just seems that there's a, the, the high kicks are almost effortless. I mean, he doesn't seem to... Well, that was a big shot, left and right. Oh! I had said in between rounds, throw that left right high kick. And he threw it and it landed. And you can, you can see that that's starting to make, it's making Yusef think about it. But it slows you down as well. What a lot of people don't realize is the more you get punched in the face, the more tired you get. And a strong low kick outside, then inside from Yusef Saeed. And Yusef Saeed, he, he's starting to move forward in this round more and kind of making Gunnison like not so much be the aggressor, but actually retreat, so. A little bit of a feeling out process again here as they're both waiting to find that distance to throw. Oh, nice shot. You know, the more he turns it into a firefight, the better Yusef is doing at the moment. Yeah, I mean, when it comes down to it, when it's a, a clinical striking match, you're seeing Gunnison have his way. Oh. But, but when Saeed's dragging him into a street fight, Gunnison's not able to hold his own in that style of fight. Oh, it's a great combination there. And you can, I hate to say it, I'm looking at a fighter and I think that his will is starting to be taken. I mean, I think a lot of it, it might just be that up high leg kick. Great sprawl out from the home fast fighter. Looks to take his back. Full mount. Now on the back. 30 seconds left. Flatten him out. Flattened him out. He's got it under the chin. No, he doesn't. No, be looking to ground and pound now. And Yusef Saeed is just turtling up, and it's over. Ari Gunnarsson there, taking the adulation from his fans. Ooh, nice finish. Again, looking at the looking at the replay. I mean, it was kind of a tale of two states. It was Saeed was digging him into deep water, trying to get him into a street fight, and Gunnison was more about let's keep this a technical clean kind of Muay Thai fight. Look there, we see five, six, seven shots land. All the man is doing is covering up. Good stoppage. Great performance from Gunnison. <laughs> The same cross, the man can't put the gold, all the league highly. The palm is a dick. 
Det här är er ju andra kampen din. Uh, första kampen av- fick du också en avslutning i första runden. Nu uh, avslutar du med en finish igen. Hur har det sig? Det är er alltid lika alltid lika alltid gott att avsluta. Men sista gången var halv minut. Vi fick inte nå ut av det träningsmässigt. Så gå ett helt runde och en god del ut i andra runde där er extrem upplevelse och bra erfaring. Gratulerar så mycket med seger. Mina damer och herrar, Arne G.